this is completely unplanned, but hello, we find ourselves with a Kirby G4, a different Kirby G4 to the last one. This is one that I picked up for spares for my Kirby Centria. Look, here is some of it there. Yes, I am refurbishing my Kirby. And I did an oopsie. I, I was hammering very gently on around the fan to try and break the fan rust and I punched through the entire back of the motor. I've stuck it back together now and ironically it seems to possibly be okay but it might not be okay and the motor from this will in fact it's almost exactly the same in fact Mr Parwaz himself said that I should possibly fit this motor to the century because it's more powerful. However, this thing is soaking wet. The guy had it in his shed, and when I inquired about it, fetched it out, and noted that his roof had been leaking all over it. So I paid £20, which is less than he wanted for it, which is still far less than any motor I can find. Let's strip it down and see how bad it is, and if we're actually going to get what we want from it. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and very knackered curvy chums. How are you today? Point of note, this is also the last vacuum, I hope, that I'm going to be getting in 2023. It is the 31st of December. That's 11.54 a.m. Time to fill with this. Even I've had a fetch this morning. Roads were lovely and quiet. Oh, we did have a hoon. Yeah, it is soaking wet. I mean, it's dried itself out a bit just from being in the car. But, yeah, like, there's still water everywhere. The whole thing. Apparently his missus just found it too heavy, so they put it in the shed and then just didn't realise it was getting soaked. But that's fine. I mean, he was probably over the moon that I decided to go and get it. Because what we've also got is a good source of spares in case the other G4 needs it. So that's nice. Right, let's start to take this apart. Ah, oh, well, what has just rolled away, and I'm not going to fetch it, is a brand new genuine spare belt. So that is cool. Oh my goodness. Oh look, we have a, a fresh clean thing, whatever the heck that is. That's, that's nice. Let's put that over there. Yeah, this thing is absolutely soaking wet. I am hoping that the bag might actually be in better condition than our other one. It doesn't seem as faded, although there's a bit of paint there. The biggest problem with it is going to be <laughs> this bag is full, 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 full and wet, 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 wet. Oh my goodness, that is ugh, wet. <coughs> so that's going to immediately help. I, I do see some tape around here, so we're probably looking at a split fill tube but that's fine that doesn't really bother me I'm actually quite interested in the bag and I think while it's wet and horrible and disgusting I will strip it off and stick it through the wash hopefully this paint here will come off and we'll we'll see if it's any better than my actual g4 bag so that can go over there yeah we is not turning this thing on this thing is dangerous deadly god I hate taking the cable off of these cord things <laughs> Hang on, bear with. Do you hate taking... Is there a knack to doing this that I don't know? I'm trying to just... Oh. Eventually, we'll get the handle off. Yeah, more rust than... I mean, that is, that is soaking wet. That is, that is absolutely dripping. So, that's cool. I don't know if this handle is going to be any better than our other one. Its sticker is sort of on, but... Equally sort of not. I think I could probably polish my other handle better without the sticker and then we'll just get some really good glue to stick it down. Although I don't know if any of this on the other one was broken. I cannot remember. I've only, I only put it up in the loft the other day. Oh, otherwise we'd have had it next to it to see just how much better that is to this. Right. We shall rotate the belt. Ooh, lovely, wet, horrible fluff. But I haven't tested any of this, so does it spin? <gasps> it does. 
and there's no back and forth. You know, that actually seems like quite a good motor because that's what we really need from this, don't forget. So that's nice. But just having a look at the rest of it for a laugh. Oh, look, there is a spider. That's nice. Where have you gone? Onto the floor somewhere. Come on, get off. Bye-bye, Mr. Spider. Uh, let's take the belt off. Lovely. Let's oh, hope nothing bigger is about to crawl out. Yeah, all right, we have ourselves a disgusting brush roll. There is another spider, get off. I don't know if they're poisonous or not. Ugh, oh God. I think I need tools. I don't want it to slap me in the, in the fingers. Hang on, let's prise the brush roll out. Lovely. There we go. There is a cable tie sat there. Yeah, everything's just very wet and damp and grim. There is. Oh, that's an all right belt there. That'll be fine to keep in the spare stash. Nothing wrong with that. So we've got one good thing out of it at least. Ah, the other bus line cap. Ah, didn't come out at all. That is fine. Ah, this brush roll seems quite good. I, I don't know though, it seems about the same as the other G4, but I know that these never were like really stiff, but I would class that as actually pretty good. And again, I'm gonna put this with the bag and I'll spend a bit of time cleaning it because this is a wooden brush roll. It doesn't want to sit wet just because I can't be bothered to have it now. So we will wash that as well, but hey, everything else is you know, good. Who knows if it's any better or worse than our other machine. Right, we best start getting in here. That's going to involve some more tools and hopefully not more spiders. Right, let's get the cable and associated off. Yeah, I'm hoping that the motor was spared from a lot of the water, especially if the bag soaked it up and it just ran down the outside. That would be super nice indeed. Right, screw at the top. This will screw at the back. This is overkill for these screws, but whew, we'll probably need it later on. And then this, with this clip moved out of the way, will come off. And there is our back trim piece, perfectly decent. And the side of our cable removed. We can now, oh, oh you're a crosshead. Of course you are. I guess you, you need to be almost user replaceable, but then you've got to go through two torques to get here, so, um, okay, Kirby, whatever. Take this off with our flathead screwdriver. Come on. Oh my goodness, are you really gonna fight me to the last thread? Then this should pop out. It should, why aren't you popping out? It's dripping wet. All the water is under here. And then we can take our cable out and there we go. Nothing wrong with the cable either, bar it being absolutely soaking, soaking wet. That can that can stay in a warm cupboard for a couple of months before I think about what to do with it. But yeah, nothing wrong with the cable either. Ha, right. Ah, we've got lots more crossheads. Hang on, I, I've come fresh from doing the same trio, and it was mostly all talks, but this is all filling. So. Oh dear, you not. I hope they're not going to strip out any worse than other ones. Right, here we go. One. I do recommend an impact because it can help get the stubborn screws out, but you just don't want to strip the heads. Because you've got no chance then. All right, there we go. Those four screws out. Oh, my goodness. Very wet. Indeed, how lovely. So yeah, this is the inside of our Kirkby. Oh, we need to unplug the motor. Can we unplug the motor on this generation? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we can. One here. And the other one is sitting just behind something which we can take off in a bit. So we'll carry on. These two screws remove this. And yeah, if we could just unplug, there, there we go. Are you going to push through? Because you don't need to go back together. 
or we're going to have to take out just a little bit more. I think we have to wait and take out some more stuff. Well, that was loose anyway. That's nice. This is the bracket that holds the sliders in. So we'll take that out. A little bit of plastic there. There's probably people that are cry about me taking this apart but it doesn't really matter and um, I want to be careful with the motor so there we go this is what helps the tech drive move backwards and forwards essentially that can probably all stay on this is the slider pack oh and it's very very rusty in fact we may as well have a laugh so it's loose as well why are you so loose Soaking wet, rusted solid. This is oh, it moves now. We've obviously freed it off. Spring underneath is okay, though. Yeah, oh, there we go. Look, it works now. We fixed it. All right, next thing that we need to do is remove these four screws here because we'll do it the unorthodox way and take the whole mid frame out. And then this whole piece here will just lift off, and well, we could now. Pull the wiring through nicely. There we go. And more parts for... I don't know if I'm going to put this back together or not. And look, loads more water. Yeah, this is what... This is where I don't want the water to be. Hopefully it's run off down the sides. Down there looks like a swamp. We shall have a look in a second. Right, now I need to not break it the same way that I broke the other one, which necessitated me having to get this disgusting thing at all. Now these are the screws which might cause your yeah, problems. Oh, get in the slot. I don't want to can you out. There we go. And then you've got to take the one out by the switch. Ugh, yummy. There we go. Look, it's it, it's been used. <laughs> I said it had been used. There we go. Um, lovely. Right, now um, we need to lock and take out the motor, which is going to involve us turning this thing up. Oh, we're back to torques. What the heck? Turning this thing upside down. Oh, we're nearly back to torques. In fact, that one stays. And we're going to take the clutch out, clutch, the tech drive out. It's not a diamond. Because I need to take the cam off the back of the motor, the cog, so that we can lock this belt spindle and take the belt off. This is roughly where I broke it last time. I just know not to hammer. Right. Oh. So we need to take the belt off. We do take this little belt off. I can't even use this cam because it's the wrong size. Ah, switch out. Tech drive should just drop out now. Oh my goodness, that is so rusty. What are you doing? Ah, there we go. Ooh, lovely. Mm. There we go. Oh, you can't see a thing. Let me... Rusty tech drive, anybody? I mean, it's probably going to work absolutely fine. I mean, it all could come apart and be cleaned and prettified. I mean, if we stick it into neutral. Yeah, it works. You can tell, because in neutral it won't turn that cog. But in drive... It will. So yeah, no, that's fine. Nothing especially wrong with that as such. There is our belt. Oh, and then back underneath because there's two. We'll take these two screws out because you are out. This thing is so loose. What is going on? Then pop the circlip off. Try not to lose it everywhere because yeah i don't want to grip on this cog because it will just shatter and i haven't got a spanner small enough to fit the proper flat so you cheat and use this end bit and then with the cog off which i don't think i can use because i think they're different i can hopefully hold that with some grips find the hole and loosen off the belt spindle excellent i did polish up the centurion's belt spindle so we probably won't be using this one oh ooh, yes it's coming forward so we will leave the vice grips on because they'll probably help but that just moved forward and that is what we need this is what the centurion didn't do it was all rusty and i didn't think to clean the spindle off first and yeah tapped it back and forth a little bit 
and completely destroyed it. And there is the front seal, the sleeve, and everything else with the fan. Oh my goodness, do I need to keep this fan? I mean, it's okay. I don't know. I was going to use a Centria fan. That looks a bit different. I shall have to inquire. Doesn't really matter now. We can unlock our mould grips, find our crosshead fit, undo two last screws, one of which has an electrical connection to it, I think ground. Oh, now we get to play the why won't you come out? Come on, all your screws are out. It's, it's moved. Hey, there we go. Oh my goodness, it is, it is just disgusting in there. Oh, it is dripping wet. Still, I say still, he probably you know, took it out of the shed yesterday. Here is our oh, surprisingly decent, although soaking, soaking wet motor. It is absolutely dripping with water, which is a bit of a problem. So, I mean, again, all I really need is this back kit bit here, because it's the same physical size. I don't quite know what makes one especially better than the other, but it does. So, I mean... In theory, all we need is the case if we can't dry the motor out. But I see no reason why that motor wouldn't run fine. Let's clear the rest of this garbage away and take this apart a bit to so now try and dry it out enough for me to use it. Okay, we are cleaned up a little bit. I have a shell of a Kirby G4, which can go in the shed and hopefully if we need some parts for ours, we can go grab it. Right. Yeah, this is very, very wet, and we're going to take this apart the correct way, not the way that I did it by accident. So we shall remove the coil wires. There's one there. Oh, this one's buried back there. Then we can take out the carbon brushes, because they're so wet. Although we do have spares of these, I mean, anything now could potentially be replaced. Oh, there we go, yeah. Just very wet, drippy wet in fact, but it'll be fine. It's got some carbon left on it. Yeah, fine and dandy. So, job one is done. There is then, where are you? Here, this air duct, which we don't actually need because the Centria has it built in more to the machine. Yeah, that is luckily a beautiful motor, I think we should be okay. Right, the next four screws that we can undo now is that we've taken the carbon brushes out of the way are these, and they're a lot less rusty actually than the ones on the Centria. That's what caused the problem. The Centria's motor is actually quite corroded. This isn't, and yeah, there we go. Oh, and that's what it didn't do. That's, again, when I was trying to tap, 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 bang, forgetting that I should just pull the whole thing out so we have a very very wet very clean armature that bearing seems fine i mean i've got a damp towel here that i use for cleaning the bench outside and look we can give it a good old clean look it's certainly seen some use i don't know if i should put the bearings from the centria onto this because that motor was very good as well i don't know i think we should try this so there we go one nice armature again this is all going to go in the airing cupboard this is why i'm stripping it all down in order to clean it out this is fine i mean this is the same as the other motor so and i have actually washed that bit so i don't think i'm going to keep all of that it's mainly this now that we need to decide what we're going to do with really what we're going to take off next, what I do want to do is have a peek under here. This could be a stupid idea, but, oh yeah, I've broken that clip. Because we have a spare, it would be interesting to, oh no, I'm just breaking all the clips. Oh, blimey. Okay, let's not do that, that's a stupid idea. What we'll do is undo this screw here. Is that the only screw? Is there more? Why is there more? No, that is it. Oh, I don't know which way it comes out. Let's try the coil. This is 
why I don't often film this side of things because I've not actually taken a curvy motor apart this much. And I can see an electrical block in there and I think, yes, there we go. Oh yes, look, right. Ooh. Oh, that stuff's falling off. There we are. Ah yes, this would go to the light because the light would come off of the circuit and then the light has this plug which goes into there. Right, let's can we take the coil out now? That would be rather handy. Oh, it's jammed. Why are you jammed? What? It slides fine and then stops. Ah, uh, let me recompose. Hi, I'm taking photos along the way. Highly suggest you do too. Underneath this fairy, this is at the bottom of the motor. There's the motor housing bolt. Look, that PCB is just dripping wet. I didn't touch it too much because it might have some residual stuff. Oh, my mind cut this cable tie. There we go. Yeah, so this bit, I mean, I've broken a couple of clips on there, but I think it's still bolted together anyway. Do I? I don't know if they're different or if I can really it looks exactly the same in there. Oh, I mean, we'll put this in the airing cupboard, but I might check and see if I can just swap the entire loom across. And I imagine it's the field coil and the armature that make whatever difference they make, because I haven't compared the ratings plates yet. Oh, right. Um, why are you not coming out? Ah, there we go. Yeah, damp, not terrible, but wet. <laughs> very, very wet. So I can now pick all this apart clean out all the fluff, give this a wash, because I didn't get to do that on the other one. There it is, we have ourselves a back washer, and somewhere there was a serrated washer as well. Where have you gone? Well, we'll find it. I've got a spare anyway, so yeah, we'll need those. And yeah, I think for £20, I have backed myself out of a hole, because I, I sort of do trust that now, and can't say I won't put this motor back together so it doesn't keep laying around and uh, yeah, have it as a it possibly works better the problem is if i haven't glued that back on like exactly correctly it's going to run off center and as soon as it puts pressure on, it's just going to snap off again and um, that's when it will destroy itself and i don't want that on my nice centria so have you ever made a silly and bought something to get yourself out of a hole and got lucky in that despite it being very water damaged indeed, it will be okay. Do you, oh look, there's a nail. Wow. That was scary coming from the motor. Yeah, hopefully now I can continue fixing my Kirby Centria. I mean, it's coming up okay. I can only polish it by hand. So, and there is a tale that the modern metal is different to the older metal. I did exactly this on the Heritage and it was much better. This has that cloudiness that I'm just not going to get rid of without having a proper buffer, which I don't. But when it's sat down on the rug, it should be okay. Look, there you go. That, that's, that, that's fine. It'll do. And it'll get done a bit more as well. And it's certainly not as corroded as it was. So stay tuned for now. And I and the Kirby Sentry with this motor in it will see you soon. Bye bye.